Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. My name is Michael and thank you for joining me. So today on my YouTube channel, I hit a very big milestone for me and that is hitting 10,000 subscribers. And in an effort to celebrate, I've decided to do two things. First, I just wanna share 10 facts about me that you don't really know. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned any of these on the channel before. And I also wanna do a $100 giveaway. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done on my channel. And it really is just a way of saying thank you to everyone uh, again, who has helped make this a reality, you know, whether it be other financial YouTubers like Dennis with True Financials, uh, Nick from Mapped Out Money, Kelly from Freedom and a Budget. Like, I've had so many um, individuals help me that I just want to return the favor and help you guys out, and that's what this giveaway is for. Um, also, to all the commenters who have been regulars and watching this channel for, for months and even the years that I've had this channel going, thank you so much to the Amazon supporters who purchased things through my link and, and kind of helped give the channel a small commission. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you just to everyone who has watched and kind of helped my channel grow little by little. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so to show my appreciation, I do wanna do this $100 giveaway. Uh, all you need to do to enter is leave a comment section down below, make sure you're a subscriber, like the video, um, and also share this video, right, to as many people as we can. That way we can do bigger and bigger giveaways in the future. I'm probably gonna start doing these uh, every 10,000, so 20,000, I'll probably do a $200 giveaway. But either way, um, leave a comment section, like, subscribe, it's all pretty easy stuff. But let's get on to the 10 facts about me that you didn't know. There's not gonna be anything terribly crazy in here, but uh, it's just kind of a fun video. So number one, you did not know that I'm a huge Alabama fan. Roll Tide. If you're not a college football fan, that probably doesn't mean anything at all to you. But if you do watch college football, Alabama has been dominating the past I mean, what, decade, pretty much? And I know a lot of you guys may think like, oh, cool, he's an Alabama fan, probably just a bandwagon fan. Not true at all, give me a little bit of respect. I'm not that type of person. No, my whole family is an Alabama fan, starting with my dad, who was a big fan all the way back to the 60s. Here's my photo evidence of me in seventh grade wearing my Alabama t-shirt. Yes, I had highlights in my hair, do not judge me. I also wanna say that I used to be a cute kid and I'm not sure what happened. I lost the hair, just got ugly. Whatever, time's not necessarily fair. But anyways, back to Alabama. Honestly, uh, a very, very big family tradition is spending time with my brothers, my mom, my dad, uh, on Saturdays, watching the game at their house. I had some friends that invited me out to San Diego uh, here at the very end of August, and I almost said, no, I'm not gonna go because that is week one of the football season. Um, I actually said that I would go. I'm gonna watch the game there. I'm gonna be in San Diego at an Airbnb, and it'll be Saturday night, but I'm gonna stay in and watch the game. So yeah, that's fact number one. I'm a huge Alabama football fan. If you've got a different favorite team, put it in the comment section down below. I would love to do a sort of uh, rivalry thing during the football season. Next, fact number two, it is a life goal of mine to build a house. Now, I've got a condo that I rent out, that's my rental property. Uh, me and my girlfriend live at this house. Um, I was considering putting an ADU or a tiny house in the backyard and renting out the main house. Uh, long story short, I couldn't because it's technically in a floodplain and zoning laws for the, uh, the city. It's just not really a possibility for me. Uh, and so I'm trying to find out what I'm going to do next. Um, part of me is really, really considering buying land and building a house in Washington. Um, we visited Vancouver Island over Christmas break with uh, my girlfriend's family, and I had never been to the Pacific Northwest before, and it is honestly one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, and I can't help but want to maybe build a house out there. And this is not gonna be some crazy house that probably won't be any bigger than maybe like 800 square feet, but I want it to be off-grid, I want it to be solar, I wanna use rainwater. Um, just, you know, it's a life goal to build a house, make it efficient, make it cool, make it nice, and also not spend an insane amount of money in the process. So we'll see if that ever happens. But yeah, fact number two, I desperately want to build my own house one day. Now, fact number three is something that I'm probably going to make an entire video on here in the future, um, but I did not go to college. Uh, I started working, uh, heck, my first job was like when I was 16 years old. And then when I graduated high school, I went to community college and kept working. And I thought I was eventually going to go to college, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And then I happened to get a job at the credit union, right? And that really kind of kick-started my whole career. And after a couple of years, I realized like, why would I go to college if I've already got a good job, there's room for me to grow, I'm making good money. Um, and so I just ultimately never went to college. Um, it is something that I don't necessarily regret, but there's kind of things that I'm curious as to what my life would have been like had 
had I gone to college. But yeah, long story short, I did not go to college. All right, fact number four, I am a huge animal lover. Uh, and she doesn't make a whole lot of appearances on this channel, and no, I'm not talking about my girlfriend. I'm talking about her dog, Riley. Riley is a little dachshund that honestly, it's kind of become a joke in our household because right when we first started dating, I told her that I don't really like small dogs. You know, I actually had a dachshund growing up and it was just a yappy dog. Uh, and I just wasn't a big fan. I always like big dogs, right? I like roughhousing with dogs. I think big dogs are just I don't know, I absolutely love them. Um, but she actually had a small dachshund and she's become pretty much my daughter. I love this dog to death. But in addition to dogs, like I'm thinking about getting chickens just because I think it would be cool. It'd be fun to kind of have the eggs every day. Um, you know, I live in Texas, but I've never ridden a horse. I, I think that's on my life goal list as well. Uh, when me and my girlfriend were in um, Thailand and we got to spend time with the elephants, like that was arguably one of the coolest life experiences I've ever had. So yeah, animals, huge lover. If you've got pets, definitely put it in the comment section down below. All right, fact number five is that I've actually been toying around with making either another YouTube channel or my own podcast. And I think creatively, it would just be a, a fun thing to do. And there's so many other things outside of like finances and money that I want to talk about. I mean, so I've been debated doing that. I think I've got a few good ideas, a few really good channel names, um, but we'll see. I actually feel like I have a lot of room for improvement on my current channel, so it may not be the best thing to kind of add more work on top of that. Um, so again, we'll see if I do this. If you think that it would be something interesting, I would love to know what you guys think. All right, fact number six is that I'm a huge nerd at heart. While I may not be like totally upper tier nerd, you know, I absolutely love reading science fiction and fantasy. Me and my friends pretty much every week have a board game night. Uh, I've been to the Renaissance Fair. Back in the day when I was into video games more than I am today, I was deep into Final Fantasy, uh, big into World of Warcraft. I kind of went deep into the rabbit hole for a while. And even though I don't really play as much these days, I still play games like Hearthstone and Heroes of the Storm. Uh, I guess you could say I'm just a big Blizzard fan. But yeah, all of this stuff, good times to me. If you guys need any good fantasy book recommendations, let me know. I've got a lot of good ones for you. All right, number seven isn't necessarily a fact, but just kind of what I enjoy, what I like. Um, some of my favorite podcasts are The Minimalist, love that podcast, Joe Rogan podcast, I think he's like the number one podcast in the world, and people judge Joe Rogan all the time, um, but I have to say, honestly, if you've never listened to it before, just pick a random episode and I bet you enjoy it. He always has some of the most interesting, entertaining, just out there uh, interviews that I've ever heard, and yeah, just a big, big fan. Uh, as far as YouTube channels that I love watching, um, recently I've been getting into all things woodworking. I don't know what it is. I don't I'm not a carpenter, I'm not ever preparing to go down that route, but there's something deeply satisfying to me about watching carpenters work and people planing wood and building things with their hand. Absolutely love it. Going back to you know me wanting to build my own house, I love architectural videos. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It's like Kirsten Dirksen, something like that, but I'll have a link down below. She goes to all these really, really interesting home sites talks to the people about you know what their inspiration was, why they're doing that. Some people will build tiny houses, other people kind of live out in the middle of nowhere, but they kind of make this off-grid lifestyle work. All of these things I find super enjoyable. So yeah, if you're at all interested in that stuff, I'll have links down below there as well. All right, fact number eight, I hate social media. Now this is 100% to the detriment of my channel. I know I would grow faster if I use Facebook, if I use Instagram. I have Twitter, but I almost never tweet anything. I just don't enjoy it. I don't know why. This is not a judgment of anyone that does use it. I just can't bring myself to do it. Back, this, is, this has been a long thing, right? This is not anything new. Back when like MySpace first came out when I was in high school, I laughed at it and everyone was on it. All of my friends were and I was just like, this is stupid. I will never use this. I can't do it. And it kind of just became this running joke that I was a grumpy old man and I uh, didn't like that newfangled technology. But yeah, I hate social media for the most part. All right, fact number nine. I have misophonia. And if you've never heard of this before, it is this god-awful condition to where there's certain sounds that when you hear it, just drive you up the wall. Now, if you want to find out some really, really intense people on the internet that have misophonia, you can. Right? I would, I would say I'm lucky not to have it as bad as some of these people out there, like, you know, people that just go into fits of rage and anger and yell at strangers or, you know, they can't be in the same room as someone else. I'm not quite that bad, but yeah, if you're at all like smacking or chewing loudly, hell, even breathing loudly, shuffling your feet, 
it's not a criticism of you, it's more of my issue, but it drives me up the wall. I cannot stand it. I mean, there's textural things like the, the, the feeling and the sound of stretching cotton balls. Ugh, can't do it. I distinctly remember being in high school taking an economics test and this girl behind me had like this fast food drink and she was like, the drink was done, but she was like crunching her ice while everyone took the test. So everything was quiet except for this girl behind me crunching her, her ice and I, I almost lost it. I didn't say anything. I'm not a terribly confrontational person, but holy crap, I just wanted to flip up the desk, take the drink and throw it against the wall. So yeah, I have some issues. I'm working through it just like everyone's working through their own things. But misophonia is real and if you know anyone that has it, do your best to just be nice and not aggravate them with it because it is a very, very frustrating thing to live with. Last fact, fact number 10. Um, I'm going to finish it off with some of my biggest fears in life and this is kind of like my phobias more than anything else. Um, first off, I'm afraid of heights, right? Um, that's not terribly unique, but it, you know, I'm one of those people too. I remember being a kid at an amusement park with my best friend who loved roller coasters and I was always just too afraid to go on them. So yeah, I was the kid that spent like, what, three, four hours in an amusement park and didn't go on a single roller coaster. In fact, the first time I ever went on a roller coaster, it was just to impress a girl that I liked. Um, and to this day, I, I, will, I enjoy roller coasters if they got like the flips and the loops and all that stuff, but anything with a big drop, not for me. And here's another thing that kind of ties into being afraid of heights. I think this logically makes sense. I'm afraid of very deep water as well. I don't know what it is. I, I enjoy swimming. I like going to the lake. Um, but if I get like too far out, I just get the heebie-jeebies that don't know what it is. I think it also is because I watched Jaws way too young. I'm afraid of sharks as well. So the idea of super deep water and just that inherent fear of sharks, yeah, it just, it creeps me out. I can't do it. When I go to San Diego, uh, I'm probably just gonna have to suck it up because I've never really swam in the ocean a whole bunch. But uh, yeah, I'm afraid of sharks, deep water, heights. Uh, another one is needles. Like, I absolutely just freak out. I get all clammy and sweaty if I ever have to get an injection. There's a reason why I probably don't go to the doctors as often as I should. It's probably because I don't want any needlework. Um, I remember getting kicked out of high school uh, for like a day because I wasn't up to date with my tetanus shot. I avoided it as long as I possibly could. Back when I went on the Southeast Asia trip recently, I had to get like, I think, Hep A shot. Um, typhoid. I just had to get like three injections and it sucked. Ugh. Don't like it. But whatever. I had to do it. It sucked. Don't like it. Don't like needles. Don't like hospitals. Can't do it. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's 10 facts that you more than likely did not know about me. Um, guys, uh, this really all comes back to the whole 10,000 mark. Uh, thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart. Make sure to put in a comment in the comment section so you can be entered into the giveaway. Hopefully we hit 20,000 a lot faster than we hit 10,000. Uh, so if you want to help me do that, please make sure you're a subscriber. Please like videos. Please share please comment all of these things are super small but they help my channel grow likewise if you really really want to show your support use my Amazon link down below when you buy anything uh, it's not that I encourage mindless spending at all but if you happen to be buying something on Amazon if you use my link it gives the channel a small commission so it helps that way likewise if you want to be a patreon supporter I've got that down below but all in all thank you so much for helping me hit this it has been a real dream of mine to finally hit this number and I can't say thank you enough but thank you so much for watching guys thank you for your support take care i'll see you guys next time hey guys i know i just said this stuff but let me say it again thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate all the support that you guys give me and to support you here's two more videos that i've made in the past in case you haven't seen them don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals likewise if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far definitely don't hesitate to let me know but thanks again take care and have a good day